Today, we can study the characteristic features of phylum Escalimindus. Last class we had discussed the features of phylum Escalimindus. Today, let us discuss remaining features of phylum Escalimindus. What's the remaining feature? Development is direct or indirect. Okay, what does it mean by direct development? In the case of human being, etc., we could call it as direct development. Is it? Really. So, direct development means uh, the younger ones resemble the adult. Resemble adult. Or indirect. What is indirect? That means larval stage will be the larva and it undergoes changes to adult. Metamorphism or uh, metamorphism or whatever will be there. That yes? undergoes drastic changes. Okay, indirect. So, in this case of uh, development in Ascolimindus, direct and indirect both are there. Okay. Then example we can say Ascaris or roundworm. Roundworm. Round in cross section. We know that Ascalimindus is called as round worm because round in cross section is it? Ascaris. Round worm and Vucheroria or Phylorial worm. What is Phylorial worm you know? They are causing Phyloriasis in human being which causes some infection. Okay. Uh, that is a mosquito act as a carrier of this Vucheroria worm and causing Phyloriasis or Elephantiasis. Inflammation in lymph, lymphatic system. Okay, so Vucheroria, Phylorial worm, and Anglostoma, hookworm. Anglostoma, hookworm. Okay, these all are examples of uh, phylum Ascalimindus. And also keep in mind Androbius. Androbius vermicularis, pinworm. Androbius vermiculasi, uh, vermicul, uh, sorry, vermicularis, pinworm. Okay, Androbius vermicularis, pinworm also. These all are the, these all are the examples of phylum as calimindus okay next feature we can see nervous system what about nervous system in as calimindus nervous system consists of circumendoric nerve ring with ganglia and nerves a ring like structure will be there and also ganglia you can see what image is given the sensory dendrite you know nerves part dendrite which will receive stimulus neuro uh, <coughs> Neuronal cell bodies, ganglia, ganglia, cluster of neuron that is called as cell bodies, we can so call as ganglia, okay, and ventral nerve cord, ventral cord and also nerve ring, this here, you can see a ring shaped structure that is nothing but nerve ring, okay, so this is about the, uh, just brief about nervous system, nervous system consists of circumendric nerve ring, a nerve ring is there, okay, with ganglia and nerves, nerves and also ganglia is there, you see, and also another feature is that sense organ like amphils and phasmids are present, what is that special structure, amphils and phasmid, you know, to receive some sensory impulses, some chemoreceptors like that, you can say amphils and phasmid, by this structure we can uh, categorize two classes also by the presence of these amphis of phasmid we can categorize uh, two classes also there okay in the number toda we can categorize as two classes before that we can see organ systems which are the organ system presence in uh, ascalimindus or ascaris etc you know that uh, in the case of ascaris uh, round worm female female is longer than male this is male this is female. Female is longer than male. Then what are the system, organ system in Ascaris or roundworm? Uh, you know that excretory system is present. Excretory system is present. And also digestive system. Industrial is there and pharynx is there. Okay. Industrial digestive system is there. And ex, uh, sorry, uh, reproductive system. In female, you know, ovaries are there, you can see uterus, ovaries, and 
uh, sorry, digestive system, intestine, and anus. Okay, and part can called as anus, and also sperm duct in male, copulatory spicule for copulation. Okay, copulatory spicule, sperm duct is the uh, testis is the so male part, testis, you know. Okay, so you know that male and female are distinct or separate, that is uh, unisexual. Male and female are separate, you see. So, uh, extraordinary system, nervous system, digestive system, reproductive system, these all organ systems are present. Okay, keep in mind this. Then next we can see its classification. Classification. So, two classes. One is that uh, aphas media. Aphas media. Class one. Class two we can say first media. First media. Okay. So, classification. Uh, uh, um, uh, sorry. A first media. A first media. What is the feature of a first media? Members of this class amphids. What is amphids? Cuticular depression around cuticular depression around oral region performing chemoreceptor function. What is chemoreceptors? What is the meaning of chemoreceptors? It is a sensory cell or organ responsive to chemical stimulus. Okay, as a, a part of this organism responds to chemical stimulus that we can call as chemoreceptors. These chemoreceptors are present in this. Uh, where is a circular depression around oral region? Oral means near to mouth region. Oral region performing chemoreceptors. That is called as members of this class amphids. A fast media. A fast media. Okay. A sensory organ responsive chemical stimulus are highly modified. But fast means posterior glandular sensory structure are absent. Okay. So we study that amphids and fast meat where we study that amphids and fast meat here yeah amphids and fast meats are sensory organ okay that we study sensory organs amphids and fast meats are present so here you can see what is the uh, here in this um, uh, a fast media fast meats are absent fast meats are absent but amphids are present how it is present present with some sensory cells or uh, some chemoreceptors okay what is the example for a fast media examples trichina uh, trichinella trichina worm trichina worm okay then trichoris whip worm even mind trichinella trichina worm trichoris whip worm what is the second class so example trichina like even here trichinella spiralis trichina worm is it then trichoris whip worm whip shaped structure whip worm okay so parasitic form this one next class first media what may be first media in this member of this class amphids are simple and fast meds are present first media the name is indicated first media so and fast meds are present Extraordinary system is well developed in this case, first media. Okay, example as that is round worm, Anglosoma hook worm, Androbia spin worm, Wuchtoria filarial worm. This one, two, three examples are given in our textbook. Okay, this like classification also not given textbook, but just keep in mind this all fe these two features also. Okay, so as that is round worm, this name is very important. Ascaris roundworm, Anglostoma, hookworm, Androbius, pinworm, Ucheroria, filarial worm. This is it. So, is picture also given the hookworm. They have hook shaped structure, hook like structure, hookworm. And Ucheroria, filarial worm. Ucheroria, I told you that filarial worm is causing filariasis or elephant foot disease. Filarial worm. Okay. And then uh, Ascaris, roundworm, Ascaris, this is also causing infection, Ascariasis in human, Ascariasis. And Androbius, pinworm. Okay, so keep in mind example, hookworm, Ucheroria, Ascaris, Androbius. These are the features about Ascolivindus. Okay, very important phylum. Then just go through the NCRT. 
and any doubt is you could ask me thank you